Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode one of Tokyo Mew Mew Mew. Uh, I'm so excited that this is finally here. All I know is, that, well, of course, as someone who's read the original manga like a bazillion times, plus seen the, the original anime a bazillion times, it makes me wonder like how similar this is going to be to the original series, and then possibly, if maybe... If they want to do it similar to the manga, if um, if Mew Berry shows up, like, eventually. Because I already know that this only has 12 episodes. But something tells me that we're going to get more later on. Like, it's going to be, like, a two, three, four, five tier type episodes where it's, like, 50-something. I think it's, like, 40, 45 or 49 original episodes. So I feel like we're going to get that. But they're just saying, like, oh, you're just getting 12 now. And then here's the rest later on. Um, if... Barry doesn't show up, I would like to see Mew Ringo because those are the only two characters who have never really shown up in the original anime. Even though I know, like, I feel like this is going to stay very close to the original series and not add those two. But it would be nice to see them, I'm just saying. But yeah, other than that, let's go ahead and get started on episode one in three, two, one, go. <laughs> oh my god! The fact that they have him playing the guy that I fucking fell in love with as a kid. No! Look at that! so pretty. I've already watched this opening too many freaking times, and I love it. It's just so good. Oh my god, it looks so pretty. Like, oh, I'm so excited! I have... Oh, look at this guy! Oh, my baby. Ugh, the queen. The queen! Oh my god, I can't. This is only the first episode and I... <laughs> <laughs> oh, they made her hair longer! Oh my god!
Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mint is, oh, baby is over here stealing the show. We're only a couple of minutes in and she's just stealing it. Yeah, so they're definitely changing a lot of things, but you know what? I'm okay with that. <laughs> oh, you'll find out soon, baby. He's so cute. <laughs> Oh, you look
Mm-hmm. <laughs> She tried.
That fucking detail. I cannot. She looks so good. A oh, poor baby, oh my god. <laughs> But it was still a kiss, though. There you go. This is only the first damn episode and they just went off. Right? <laughs> Thank you.
bruh, it's like I'm home and we never even left. It's been years. Oh my god. Oh. All right. First thoughts. Oh my god. This first episode was too damn good. Okay. I do love the subtle changes. I'm not mad at it. I love it a lot. I feel like there's going to be some people who are going to be like, why didn't they do this? Why didn't they do that? But it's okay. If they do it a different way, I am fine with that. I love the fact that all four initially were there all at the same time, including Mint, but Mint was already one as well, which is so cute. I like that. I thought that was really different. The fact is that she was already immune straight up and she's just like guiding Ichigo and the rest of the girls. Like, oh, that's so cute. Oh my god. This is gonna be so good. Uh, and then of course, like, the fact is that with Smoothie and y'all promote the hell out of Smoothie because of course, like, between this group and SG5, I'm so happy. <laughs> like, I feel like a little kid again watching this. Like, oh my god. But the weight on this was definitely worth it. The watching um, who was going to be Ichigo and who all got cast and everything. And seeing who all got cast in the first season video that they did together. And hearing the song. Uh, it just made everything worth it. Like, so freaking much. Mm, but see, now I'm really excited to see typically how, like, everyone else is going to do in this. Like, not only, like, you're bringing, in, like, two two guys who have seen in other things, um, but of course, all five of these girls are new, like, to the voice acting group. And so I hope that, like, whatever they do after this, it just goes up for them. I'm also excited to see how the dub is going to go for this because it's... I feel like people who also like not only Sailor Moon are going to probably feel the way how they felt like this with the fact is that this is now getting a remake and such. There are going to be some people who are going to be like, no, I really rather watch like the dub of the four kids version. Just how like with Sailor Moon, everyone still kind of likes to watch the D version of it or the premiere version uh, of it and stuff. And then for me, like, as someone who grew up on those dubs and then, um, watched the Viz dub of Sailor Moon and knew all those freaking voice actors from so many different English pro uh, projects that they've done in dub and ish, I, I like the Viz dub more. That's just me. But I feel like we're going to get that with this because, of course, I think Funimation is the one who's going to be dubbing this or, um someone else I don't really remember but I feel like we're we're gonna have something we're gonna have a little bit of a conflict with this personally I don't know how it's gonna go but I think a lot of people are really going to like this the transformation scene oh my god like really that that whole thing just gave like season one of Save the Moon Crystal a run for its money because like I remember when, when Save the Moon Crystal came out and I remember like the 3D transformation because I think a lot of us really wanted that because, think about it, with a lot of idol animes, 3D transformation was coming out a lot. That was, like, the norm, but you were still getting, like, 2D transformations. And then when Toei was like, yeah, we're gonna make a CGI, it was good, but it could have been better. And then when Crystal Season 3 came out and they made it back um, to 2D, it made it look whole a whole lot hella better than it was like comparing it to season one to season two of Crystal. But this, this was pretty. And I mean, that's only the first transformation. So I cannot imagine like what mint, pudding, Zakuro, and lettuce are going to look like. And of course, they're, it's going to look so beautiful, so phenomenal, for, so freaking gorgeous that like every single week I'm probably going to be fangirling about this. But the fact is that we only have 12 episodes with this show and officially we now have 11 left. I really do think they're going to be like, once we get to the final episode of season one, that's when they're going to be like, oh, hey, we're going to be back in like May of next year, summer of next year, da 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 you'll get to see it. So, so I hope because there's so many things. That ending had so many spoilers in it. If you've seen the original series or you've read the manga, like, oh, I'm just, I'm, I'm so fucking happy that I finally get to watch this. But 
It was good. Very, very good. Mm, I'm ready to see some more. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode one of Tokyo Mew Mew Mew. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, Bye. subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. I can't even say Don't anything. Worry, like and subscribe. Mm -hmm. I'll see you guys next time. See ya. Bye. Bye.